Valdez. <clears throat> Speaking. Where? Oh, okay. Um, you have the number here. I'll, I'll, I'll be waiting. Okay. That was the FAA. Um, they lost radio contact. Helene Tanner's plane went down. You know, I'm, I'm fresh out of groceries, but I, I found some juice in the plane. You wanted to save it till now. No, no, I, I didn't ever intend to bring it up. Then why did you? Why? Did, because you know you make me, you make me so so mad sometimes. Well, I, Jake, I I had some bad news. What? What was your bad news? My cat, you know, committed suicide. <laughs> Girl, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you just don't strike me as the cat-loving type. You had a great name, uh, Robespierre. Jumped from a roof. It was really tragic. Okay. Michael Laney gave uh, you a pretty hard time, didn't he? Look, he's entitled to his opinion. Well, he, he read you the riot act, Liza. Look, I, I really... I, I don't want an instant replay here. Okay, no instant replay. I'll settle for uh, an honest... Response. He he hit a nerve, didn't he? Whatever you say. Whatever. It's not what I say. It's what happened. Reality is relative. Why are you so afraid? What is it? I'll tell you what I'm afraid of. Small minds. People with personal mottos, you know? Life is fair. Honesty is the best policy. And let's see, what else am I afraid of? Anything covered in cheese. Why do you find it so hard to, to owe up? To just an honest emotion. It's very simple. Well, yeah, okay, answer me your question. Okay. What is the litmus test for honesty? What, uh, uh, you have to break down into tears every time there's a tragedy? You know what, is that what guys want? Some girl who's just going to fall apart and, and break down into tears? Because tears are very dangerous things. You cry enough of them, they blur the boundaries. You don't believe me? You ask your brother. But what's Tad have to do with anything? Well, he didn't tell you? No. The last time that I showed my human side, I shed an honest tear. I was with Tad. Oh, and he was, he was moved to get a divorce. No, no, just, just two passengers. My fiance and, and, and my best friend. So, so have, you have made no radio contact. Okay, how about the search and rescue team? Tomorrow? I, I, that's not good enough. No! Oh, God. What did they say? Tanner was headed due west over the Blue Ridge Mountains. He, he, he didn't send a May Day. There's been no radio transmission whatsoever. The, the radio must be out. You mean no one actually saw the plane go down? No one saw anything, no. Well, Tanner's a flying ace, right? He's a stunt pilot. He does stunts. He does loop-de-loops. He, he, he does stupid stunts. That's it. Yeah, but not with Haley on board. Look, I hate to bring this up, but maybe we should call Father and tell him what's going on. Your dad? No. N no. No, not until we have more information. So what are you going to do? I'm not sitting around here. Matt, there's an ice storm on the way. The roads are a mess. I'll take my chances. Where's your sister? You might want to sit down for this. I don't have time to sit down. Where is Haley? Maybe you should wait until Matt gets back. 
something happened to Haley? Well, we don't know anything for sure yet, but... Tanner flew Haley to Texas to surprise Matt. They never got there. The plane went down. Went down? Where? Well, so far they haven't been able to pinpoint a location. Well, what's being done to find them? Who's, who's, uh, who's heading up the search party? Oh, Mateo talked to somebody at the FAA. I assume they're doing everything that they can. You assume? Why wasn't I called? Well, I didn't want to upset you unnecessarily. Haley's my daughter. I have a right to know if she's, if she's in danger, if she's hurt. My God, she's got to be all right. She's got to be. I'm going to police headquarters. Well, I'll, I'll go with you. No, no, I don't have time to hold your hand. Well, I just want to help. No, then just stay out of the way. I mean, Tad did tell me about the night that you two slept together. I just... I don't want to go back there. Well, he didn't say much. It was the day that you had to testify for the, um, the Laurel Dillon murder at Cutting Edge. I, mean, I guess everything was kind of emotional. Yeah, I was uh, drowning in my own misery. Pulled Tad in by the undertow. There's nothing like Liza undone. And by God, vulnerable. How could you resist? I know that woman. She helped me string lights on a, a tree once. You know, that person, she gets out about as much as a distant sighting of the Aurora Borealis. I'm not Ace Jake. I break up relationships. I ruin marriages. I'm an accomplice to murders. My job's first, and I come last. Uh, I, look, I know, you know, you're not ace, blah, 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 but you know what? You're not this heartless workaholic you make yourself out to be either. You're, you're someone that's just probably somewhere in between. Purgatory? There's nothing wrong with being strong. And you don't have to be completely vulnerable either. You just you just have to be honest with yourself. And if you do that, that's all you have to do. Everything's gonna fall into place. Thirsty? Yeah, I could go for a nice thick chocolate milkshake right about now. The best I can do is some sort of juice. I guess it'll have to do. <laughs> that is nasty. Your turn. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Help yourself. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. Whose bright idea was this for Haley to go sailing off? It was hers. She wanted to surprise me. Well, surprise! You're here, she's out there, God I, knows where. I, I know, but I, I had no idea she planned this. It was a surprise. So we can thank your friend Tanner for this? Uh, look, he's a great pilot. I would trust him with my life. Well, that's your funeral. Haley is my concern, and if anything happens to her, so help me God. That was weather advisory out of West Virginia. Evidently, the ice is coming down in sheets there. They've scrubbed the surgeon rescue until morning. I'm sorry. Well, then I'm going to go down there myself. I'll search across the No, no wait, 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 wait. Look, look, I know you two are very worried. I, with all due respect, I think you should leave this search to the professionals. You'll never get a flight out of here tonight. Well, use my plane. We'll hire a chopper if we have to. Let's go. All right. I'm feeling a little spacey. Was there an expiration date on that juice? You should check it. What's today's date? Oh, man, I can't see an expiration date. Maybe. I think maybe it was rancid. Do you think maybe it was rancid? Maybe you got a sugar head, huh? Mm. Mm. I can't feel my lips. And my hands are all numb. What are the signs of... 
hypothermia. Yeah, look, you sound like you're really cold. Get under this, mm. and you keep warm, okay? Now, I want you to think of some warm thoughts, all right? Come on, it's okay. I've got one, I've got one. In December, right, that's Australia's summer. It's really hot, I mean, like, boiling. The geckos come out, they sun themselves on the rocks. And the rocks, they change colours during the day. Because it's so hot, as the sun goes over. Are you warmer now? I'm burning up. Look, you're probably sick, Harry. No. I feel dizzy. Well, you're having, you're panicking. You're having a panic attack. No, this is Why don't you calm stress. down and just lie down and close your eyes? No. No. I feel like I'm buzzed. I feel like, I feel like I've been drinking kamikaze or something. <laughs> Oh, God, Tanner, was that drink spike? Did I fall? You're, you're tired, you're starving, you're half frozen. No, 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 it's, it's my head. Haley, it's just a scratch. You probably got some concussion, that's all. No, it was... Nothing was wrong until the juice. There's something bad with the juice. Well, the juice is old, that's all. Mm-mm. I know this feeling. I've been down this road before. Maybe it fermented. No, Would no. You Taste it, Tanner. Taste it. Vodka. That's it. I'm drunk. Buzz and McGlade, you take J5 to the brink of Cloverdale. You guys from Thaxton? No, no, no. What, what, what do you got so far? Well, turn around and go back where you came from because we have no time to deal with the press. We're not press. I'm Adam Chandler. My daughter's on that plane. Oh, wow. I'm, uh, I'm Henry Elkins, Mr. Chandler. Yeah. Everything's under control. Okay, good. So, so you found them? them? Well, we got it narrowed down to a five-mile square. <clears throat> you call that under control? H have you have you had many radio contacts? No, the radio's out of commission, but we are getting a faint signal from their ELT. Well, what's an ELT? Emergency locator transmitter. Now, it's coming in kind of weak. It sounds like the battery is about to go out. You don't even know if they're alive, do you? Well... We, uh, we think that they're in this section. We figure right you here figure in this section. figure they're in this section. Do you know, well, figure or do you know? That's where the signal's coming from, sir. Okay, well, so how many choppers do you have in the area? Beg your pardon? They're small aircraft with whirling blades. How many choppers do you have up there? We'll send some out in the morning, sir. Morning? What, what are you up? waiting for? Well, we're waiting for the storm to clear. And my daughter to freeze. Oh, look, look, I got a dozen men out there, sir. What, men on, on foot with flashlights? The weather is not clear for takeoff, sir. What, what are you talking about? What, we got here fine. Not in a Bedford County craft. You pee brain technocrat. Uh, okay, okay, look. My, my fiance's on that plane, along with my best friend. Well, I sympathize. Okay, sir. and they could be hurt or unconscious. This is criminal negligence. Uh, so a couple hours can make them or break them. I can't risk a man's life. Well, I can. Excuse me, sir, what do you think you're doing? My pilot goes wherever I say, whenever I say. You're making a big mistake, sir. You better hope not. Something happens to my daughter, you're toast. <laughs> Hold it right there. Right, look, here. Take these with you. Thanks. You fed me vodka in a juice bottle. Hell, I did it. Oh, please stop it, Tanner. The old vodka is a disguise routine. I learned that from my mother. Look, I had no idea. Oh, please, Tanner. Vodka is lemonade. Vodka is seltzer water. Sorry, all right? Nanner! You're sorry? <laughs> 
Yeah. Did you have to fight your way back from the bottle after five years, Sandra? I did. Ellie, that's why it hit you so hard, okay? Or was it four years? Oh, was it four or five years? I don't know. Ellie, you gotta I can't get... remember how long it's been since I've been sober. I used to be able to tell you right to the second. Ellie, listen, I, look, I had no idea it was laced. Oh, I... right, you just bought it that way. I found it in the plane. I didn't know. Look, if I didn't know, I would have sampled it. Ellie, I saved it for you, okay? That's what... I brought it. I'm sorry, I'm not yelling at you. I'm just... I'm just mad at myself. That's why I'm blaming you. I should have packed the thing. Drugs are always blaming somebody else, never themselves. Ellie, come on. They're never to blame. Hey, what's that you passed all that? We spend half our lives screwing up and the other half making excuses. Ellie, listen to me. This doesn't even count. It counts, Tanner. Look, you didn't even know. A couple of steps should have clued me in, but instead I had to drink half the bottle. Ellie, Ellie, it's an accident, okay? No, it's not. I'm back to square one. Oh, come on, what sort, of, what sort of talk is that? Tanner, you don't understand. You know what I want right now? I want a drink. I want to drink the rest of that bottle. And I want some more. Ellie, listen, you're going to be all right. No. You'll be fine. I'll make sure you... Tanner, you got to throw it away. That's all we got, Ellie. I don't care. I want it too much. Listen, look, we're going to stay here a night, maybe longer. But that's the, all the fluids we've got. Then you drink it, Tanner. Cheers. Tanner, I can't have it. I'd rather die. Look, you're not going to die. Listen, Haley, I'll make sure, okay? I'll make sure you stay alive. I'm going to go back to the plane. <laughs> you can. Look, why not? Maybe we missed something. Maybe the chocolates are under the seat. Uh, I already know. Well, I'll look again. Uh, Tanner, it's too awful out there. I don't care about some ice or some snow. <laughs> Tanner! I'll be back, Haley. time here. At this rate, we, we could um, be here all night. Well, I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't mind that. Well, the, pu the, the pencil pushers might. You know, I don't know what the, uh, the budget bottom line is for bonding. <laughs> Maybe improving employee relations. Maximizing staff um... morale. Yeah. You could uh, sue me for sexual harassment, you know. Yeah, well, I, I don't think so. I, I... Made the first move. Yeah, but I'm in charge. Of uh, the TV station. Some people might call me exploitive. You want me to sign out? I could sneak back in. Proving what? Well, I'll be off company time, right? I... Oh, hey, come on, a man needs a break. What? My dad used to say that when I was little. I used to crash his office and... Didn't matter who was there or, or what he was doing, he would always say, gentlemen, please, a man needs a break. I, I was the most important thing in the world to him. Oh, he was right. Well, yeah, I mean, my mother disagreed with him. Uh, she said that if he didn't fritter away his life playing patty cake, that he might have made a success out of himself. Well, he was a success. Yeah, he made money. He was never going to make enough money to make up, though. A uh, makeup for what? Well, the fact that my mother didn't love him. He, he wasn't exciting. He was too old. You loved him very much. Yeah. More than anything. I used to love spending time together with yeah. him. Like all alone, when mom would have her, you know, 
tennis and painting and flamenco dancing. I think that was Alejandro. <laughs> yeah, there's always some guy attached, so. Must have been tough. Yeah, for Dad. I used to really like having our time, though. He'd let me make him dinner. I used to make him peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. Uh. On toast. <laughs> He was, he was, he was my best friend. Yeah, and, and you were his, his heart. I, I thought so at the time. Well, did something change? Well, I, I was uh, 10. Um, my mother was into sculpting, I think. It was Franco. I, I heard them arguing in the den one night, and my father wanted my mother to stay home. It was their anniversary. The last thing she said before she left was, this marriage isn't worth celebrating. I, I just wanted to make him feel better, you know, so I sort of started trashing her and saying what an evil witch she was. And he got so mad, he, he, he got fists well, clenched and He was, and red he was and embarrassed, Liza. He told me that she was an extraordinary woman and that I should never, ever say a negative word against her. It was because he was ashamed. He was. He, he probably felt powerless at that moment, and he certainly didn't want you to see that. Yeah, but you know what I saw? That she was his heart. And then he got me in the bargain. Your father was in deep denial. Yeah, he was. I think I knew that even then. Probably didn't make it hurt any less. No, I cried a lot. And then, you know, shut down. Ah, uh, the beginning of the no tears policy. Largely successful, I think. Yeah, but false. Liza, you are your father's daughter. You use denial as your weapon of choice. You don't want to let on that you have feelings, so tell yourself that you don't. I believe me. No, no you don't. Most of the time. Less I... and less you do. How do you know that? Because I know you. Yeah, you do. Bye-bye.